What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my level of news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Dashfront 66 is a racing game like Mario Kart, but it's a running racing game, except way more futuristic and chaotic. There are traps you can lay down, weapons to use against other runners, drifting in and out of corners, and slipstreaming behind them. The thing that jumps up the most about this game is that it's a core racing game, which is something I've never heard of. The game doesn't have a release date yet, but it will be released later this year. The PlayStation exclusive Rise of Honor is sitting at a 76 on Metacritic. A lot of sites that review the game have mostly had complaints about the game. Comicbook.com said that in their review that the game really didn't have anything special about it. The game copies a lot of things from other games while adding a little spice of Team Ninja and it makes it their own and never really mixes well. Will you be picking up Rise of Ronin or is it one to skip this year? Tell me your thoughts down below. Path of Exiles 2 was supposed to have a beta in June, but it seems that that's not happening anymore. Grinding Gear Games had this to say, but we think we were able to get the game's content ready in time. We underestimated how long it would take to get the gameplay published to a standard we're happy with. We're still going to have the alpha testing in June, but we're going to be delaying the beta until later this year. The beta was pushed back to later this year and lots of fans are not happy about it. I say if you need more time to polish a game, better polish it. The game is set to put Diablo's world design to shame. Let's see what they have for us later this year. It's never a dull moment this year when it comes to Arrowhead and Helldivers 2, though this time it's on the negative side. The team has heard about the bug and is trying to fix it as soon as possible. There are stratagems and weapons causing the game to crash and reset. The Arc Thrower stratagem, the Telsa Tower stratagem, and the Arc Shotgun primary weapon are the troublemakers, but the update to fix them won't come until later next week. Hopefully they get to drop it sooner. The PlayStation 5 got a huge overall in the UI department. They updated the UI with many small things that are helpful and a feature that has been requested since release. Smaller features are circles that tell you how much battery is left in your controller and headsets, an easier way to get to your wish list, and console storage for easy access to it from the start and not have to go through the settings. The biggest feature is the return is the dynamic backgrounds and wallpapers. Future game show showed off an awesome Iron Man like mech game called EV2. The game kind of looks like Anthem, which isn't a bad thing because Anthem is awesome, but it failed so bad. The game is going to be multiplayer from what the trailer shows off and it will feature different types of Iron Man suits to get into. I really do hope it turns out good because a lot of people really ended up loving Anthem. Dragon's Dogma 2 is already killing the Steam numbers on PC. For the past 24 hours, Steam players have been around 177,000 concurrent players. It's already in the top 10 games being played at the moment beat out Resident Evil 4 and Village as the top played Capcom game on Steam. The game is scoring pretty good across the board, 80s and 90s scores. The lowest score I saw was 78 and 78 stands is good for the reviewer. Let's hope that Capcom continues to kill it with all the big games they keep on releasing. Finally, the biggest game of last year, Baldur's Gate 3 will not be getting a sequel. Valerian without Origin has made the best D&D video game of all time and they can't be more proud of themselves because of it. They said, they will forever be proud of it and we're not going to continue because we are not a company that makes DLCs or expansions. They said that they want to work on something different now and they want to expand their horizons to other genres. Hopefully they can continue to expand and make great games outside what they already are known for. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Thank mm -hmm. you.